and for the past couple of weeks I've been testing some Wi-Fi repeaters. Okay, before we go any further, what is a Wi-Fi repeater? Well, in its very simplest form, a Wi-Fi repeater receives a signal, amplifies it, and then transmits it. So what you could effectively find is, if you're in the house, you could boost your Wi-Fi signal, and exactly as you're out here, we're hoping that exactly the same can happen. Now today I'm going to be using a small tank and taking that out first of all without using the Wi-Fi repeater and seeing exactly how much distance we can get and then secondly using the Wi-Fi repeater seeing exactly is it worth going for a Wi-Fi repeater. Now the Wi-Fi repeater I'm going to be using is called the Xiaomi Mi 2 uh, and I, after this particular test video I show you exactly how to set it up and get it all working as that is a little bit tricky uh, just because it's not a standard setup as you might imagine. So what I'm going to be doing is first of all we're going to be testing the range without the Wi-Fi repeater seeing exactly how far the Wi-Fi from my phone can just push and then I'm going to be attaching the Wi-Fi repeater to a battery pack and seeing exactly then how far we get with that. So with this folks let's get to it. Okay so first of all I'm going to just flip on the tank. Yeah, We've got a little on light we've got a little LED on the front as well. Now then let's connect to the Wi-Fi. This is just going to be from my phone, there's, there's no repeater, the repeater is in fact here. Um, so what I'm hoping to do then is take her straight down here and seeing exactly how far she flies with me, how far she, she, she runs with me sat here. Now I'm hoping to get at least three quarters of the way into that straight road um, just without using any repeater. Now, but obviously I have been wrong multiple times in the past and I'm probably expecting to be a little bit wrong here as well. So let's click go. Now we can see we've got Wi-Fi signal. Let's click on and let's take her out. Now this is going to take quite a while. So what I'm probably going to do is just put or is just fast forward this a little bit. Oh, there we go. Right, so I just keep this in in line there. You see him going, he is turning a little bit, but I still have control. I'm still able to turn him, so if I just shift him a little bit then, when he hits all the lumps and bumps, that'll move him. Oh, the video is stuttering quite a bit. Let's get around this stick. Or let's just go over the stick. Well done, you lovely little tank you. Right, let's face him back to me, turn him around. That could have been a lot easier if I just turned in the right way to begin with. And fair play, he's still going, the signal's still... Yeah, still going pretty strong. I've got, a, I've got a bird in front of me which is looking at the tank quite strangely. Let's hope he doesn't fly off of it. Fair play, he's gone a lot quicker, he's gone a lot further than I thought he would. So I don't know how far you can see, but if you just follow my finger, he is directly in front. A little silver moving thing. Oh, oh. Right, now he's facing me. He just twisted. Right, okay. So there we go. I'd say that. Oh. Is almost our limit. Because I can't turn it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to call that as, as, as a limit. Right, let's go achieve him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pretty terrible marker. I'm going to use this little bit of wood. Because if any car, if a car does come down, you wanted to go to that farm. Then he is not going to have any trouble with that but that's exactly where he got to so let's take this back let's connect the wi-fi repeater and then let's try him again so the wi-fi repeater what i'm going to do let's i turned off the the tank by the way because we have to plug in our intermediary which is the wi-fi repeater now what we're looking for in this repeater is obviously we've got the three blue lights here on the battery pack we've got a yellow light there now what i'm hoping is that when i turn this on and don't fiddle with anything else if it has been set up correctly, it should turn blue as soon as, that's a little light here I mean, should turn blue as soon as it gets a connection from this tank. Perfect. Right, so we have a connection. So essentially what's happened is we've got the Wi-Fi repeater connected directly to the tank. We're connected to the tank as well. The Wi-Fi repeater is in the middle. We've got a, a nice solid blue light you'll see in a bit after this video with the whole setup, the, the sort of LED statuses that you can get. So what I'm hoping to see out of this is that it gets further than the stick over there. Now obviously I'm going to be st stood standing here, but what I am going to be doing is I am going to be using the FPV of this tank. And obviously the Wi-Fi repeater is where I am, just on the floor a little bit there. 
with it pointing out maybe I should actually angle that a little bit a little bit more so if I angle that there there we go which is so you can maximize his actual range still a blue LED on there so I chose this tank for many reasons one of the reasons being for this particular test is that its battery life is incredibly good so you get I think if, if memory serves out of a 30 minute charge you get 40 minutes out of this guy Obviously, over different terrain, it's a little bit different, but those little rubber tracks are proven to be pretty good over these sort of this very lumpy, bumpy sort of tarmac. I like using this tarmac for a lot of my car videos as well, purely because there's a lot of, uh, once again, lumps and bumps, and it's very uneven, and it really puts the suspension to, to work on the cars, and you can see exactly how good that is. Okay. we trundle we think we've just passed the stick that we put up there last time and we're still going oh there's the stick and we've passed it and we're still going and he's going even further look at him go yeah okay repeater is worth getting after the other ones I tried that absolutely did absolutely nothing this repeater is doing remarkably well Oh, some more lumps and bumps and bits of stick and stuff, but I've still got motion over him. He's going. Oh, video break up slightly. Okay, let's move him around a little bit as well. Can I? Oh, he's still, but he's very jittery. I think he's almost at maximum range. Okay, come on little guy, come on little dude. He's still going. Right, I think I'm almost out of range, so I'm gonna stop him there. So let's see exactly how far he got. First of all, with just Wi-Fi, he got to this stick. So that bag to this stick. Now with the Wi-Fi repeater, he got There we go, see he got here. So today what we're going to be doing is setting up this Mi Wi-Fi Repeater 2 by Xiaomi and then from there we're going to be using it to connect to a particular RC vehicle. So what we're going to do first is take this out of the package. Now, when you, get the, when, when you do get this, there's a QR code at the back there. Scan that using a QR reader. What that will do will then download uh, the particular application needed for this. You can get the application on iOS and from the Google Store as well for Android. So essentially this is what we have. This is what it looks like. It's just a nice little stick one side and on the other side we have a notification LED and a reset uh, button as well there. And of course the uh, the interface is USB so what we're going to be doing is connecting it to my 20,000 milliamp hour um, power bank here okay so please bear with me while we're sorting this out just because I'm going to be doing this upside down so what we're going to be connecting to today is we're going to be connecting to this little tank that we looked at a little while ago this is quite a fun little guy uh, but more than anything he's Wi-Fi so therefore we are just going to connect to this and then we can hopefully boost the range of this particular guy so let's put this to one side let's move everything up so there we go so we've got our power bank with the repeater we've got the vehicle and we've got our phone to set it up so now I'm going to down, I'm going to open up the Me Home app, which is the app you get from scanning the QR code that I just showed you a couple of minutes ago. Now, from here, it's very, it's very important to remember when you set this up for the first time. No matter where you are, you set this up using China Mainland as your particular area. If you don't set it up as China Mainland, you're not going to be able to get to the um, 
to get to the device and find it in the list. Like with me, I set it up as Europe because I'm here in the UK, but essentially what that did is it actually meant that I couldn't find my repeat, my repeater, I couldn't set it up. So changing the repeater uh, or changing your area of residence to China found that I can actually set it up. So if we tap to add a device, and then inside here, we just type in repeater or rep, and then click Wi-Fi repeater. And now from here, we should have, as the screen tells us here, you should have a little flashing uh, yellow blinking light, which we do, tick the box and click next. Then from here, we have to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, then we have to connect to the network from this particular tank. So if we click the drop down, we should have no, okay, so what we're going to do now is switch Wi-Fi networks. If it doesn't appear in the list, click switch. Then we can go into, which one is it? HC, that's it. And then once we've set this up, once we've connected, then we can switch back to Mi Home. And then we should be able to just input the password. I think it's eight zeros for this particular one. And then it says you've got to connect to the Xiaomi repeater. So once again, if we set Wi-Fi now and then connect to Xiaomi repeater, it's an open Wi-Fi network. Then once we're connected, go back to Mi Home again, and then it connects. Now this particular process takes up to about three minutes. All oh, right, so we're still going, we're at 75% now, but what you should notice is this little blinking yellow light has now turned solid blue. This means that we're connected. This means that we can now we can now function, and this repeater is now the intermediary between my phone and this particular tank. Now, it's from this particular screen that we're going to see that it says connection error. There's no particular error in this, uh, in this set, and for the second we are on, the blue light is connected, but the error is coming back because there's no actual internet connection. This particular repeater is for use in home, it's trying to figure out that there is actually a connection. Uh, it can't actually connect to the internet, therefore it thinks there's an error. In fact, there's not. So if I just, and to prove that, if I just click blue light on here, which is one of the troubleshooting steps, then it says the status indicates that your device is connected to Wi-Fi uh, and make sure, your, make sure your Wi-Fi router is connected and available on the network. Now, obviously, uh, as I say, we're not going to be able to connect to the internet, so therefore we are, we are all set up, we are all ready to go. So we can come out of that, we have a blue LED, we are connected. If I now open up the iSpy app, no, nope, that's the wrong app, and then from inside here if I click on, I should be able to, there we are, operate the tank. So the tank is connected. So now we are connected directly to the repeater, repeater is connected to the tank. So there we are. We're all done, we're all connected. This tank is 100% operational through the repeater. So the next step now is once you have finished with this particular vehicle, because obviously you're not just gonna to want to connect to one vehicle, then you have to reset the repeater. So have it all plugged in, hold the reset button in with a pin for about four seconds, then the blue light, the blue light will go off, and then you can then connect this to whatever other Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi vehicle you want to. So there we are folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy repeating.